one of the very recent doubts asked to me was yesterday my child was bitten by mosquitoes today morning he developed fever could it be dengue can it be possible how long does it take before the disease manifest let us see in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel every week your queries are answered via short videos if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also if you have any such queries kindly post it in the comment section i'll try to answer them via subsequent videos this week's query is on incubation period what is incubation period incubation period is the time between exposure to a disease causing agent and the manifestation of the disease itself for example commonly in infectious diseases you are exposed to that infection at some point after that the disease or the organism grows inside the body it starts to manifest via symptoms after a certain period this period is called incubation period why is this important as i said in today's question yesterday was the mosquito bite mosquitoes are known to carry dengue virus and today morning they develop fever could it be dengue no usually some time is required between the exposure and the disease itself this incubation period varies from disease to disease for example simple common cold or flu can have a very short incubation period ranging from 1 to 3 days whereas disease like dengue can have 5 to 8 days of incubation period measles can be between 4 to 12 days whereas in chicken pox it can be as long as 10 to 21 days in hepatitis a that is simple jaundice which is spread by eating food or water contaminated with this hepatitis a virus this can take from 2 weeks to even 50 days and in case of hiv aids this can even be 10 to 15 years longer so the main carry home message is no disease will happen immediately on exposure to a infection or an infectious person for example if you have touched today with chicken pox tomorrow you are not going to develop but this will take a time anywhere between 10 to 21 days before your symptoms manifest this is important in two ways we have to understand the causes so most of the time we think something which happened just now is the cause probably it denotes a exposure some period before so to think about the cause we need to know about the concept of incubation period second we need to know about the contagious period or an infectious period that is till what time you are able to give the disease to others for example in a common cold before you even start sneezing or having symptoms you have already become infectious because you are already in the incubation period the organism has entered into your body it is already multiplying it is just that you are not developing symptoms so in this infectious period even if you are not manifesting symptoms you are still infectious to others so that's why this period and the knowledge about it are important i have put in a table some of the common incubation periods of diseases this might be of use to you but anyway regarding this always consult the doctor don't presume that an exposure just occurred could be the result for the disease today and be complacent it could be something which happened in the past and which could be different friends hope this would have answered some of your queries regarding this incubation period if you like this video share it among your friends and relatives to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye